It is draft night, and while there isn't as much hype as there was last year with getting Zion Williamson, the Pelicans are still adding pieces that they need to hopefully win a championship. Our Ricardo LeConte is joining us now with the latest on all of it. Ricardo, who did they add? Yeah, Katie, as you mentioned, no number one overall pick, so no exciting pick like Zion Williamson, a franchise changer. But the Pelicans were still picking in the lottery. They had the 13th overall pick. And because of a trade with Milwaukee earlier on Monday for Drew Holiday, they also had the 24th overall pick in this draft. And with the 13th pick, they took Kyra Lewis, an Alabama guard, with that pick. Now, basically, this is a guard. He's probably considered one of the better point guards in this draft. Uh, he's a guy who slashes, can get to the bucket, he can score. He's also a really good passer. He was a first-team All-SEC performer this past season, averaged over 18 points a game, and also dished out over five assists per game. So it's another great pairing in the backcourt for the Pels, along with Lonzo Ball. Remember, no Drew Holiday now, so they needed another point guard and adding some depth there. And one of the things when we were on the conference call after he got drafted, Kyra Lewis said that one of the most exciting things he's ready for is to start throwing lobs to Zion Williamson. He says he's so impressed with his athleticism and basically what they could do on the court in terms of the connection there with those lobs and getting everybody excited. He said, quote, it was a match made in heaven with him pairing up with Zion Williamson, and he's really excited to get to New Orleans and perform. Now, the Pelicans also had a second pick in the first round at number 24. Now, due to NBA rules, the Milwaukee Bucks had to make the selection. And with that, they took R.J. Hampton, a guard who decided to play overseas professionally with Australia instead of going to college. It was similar to what Lonzo Ball's younger bro brother, LaMelo Ball, who was taken number three overall in this draft, did basically go pro instead of playing in college. That pick from the Pels will actually be traded to the Denver Nuggets for a future first round pick. So David Griffin actually making a trade, even though it's not official yet in this first round and actually trading for the future and getting another first round pick down the road. Remember going into the draft, he has 13 first round picks over the next eight drafts add another first round pick that he's going to get from Denver in the future. The Pels have one more pick at number 39 in the second round, and we'll see if it gets to that point here a little later in sports. But for now, we're live in Metairie. Ricardo LeCompte, Eyewitness News.